Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Super Monkey Ball for complete, for free on your iPod Touch. It's uh, completely free, and I'm here, now I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, you're going to want to open your internet browser. And you're going to want to go to this uh, website. I'll have the link in the video description. It's a rapid share download, and you want to download Monkey Ball and extract and it's a zip file so you wanna uh, extract it and open it and you should get monkey ball that app out of it and once that's done you're gonna wanna download um, win scp or cyberduck uh, uh, depending if you have windows or mac mac is cyberduck windows is win scp the program you need to, the programs you need to download and the, again the requirements for this are 2.0 jailbroken ipod touch with um with open SSH installed and uh, I'm gonna show you how to get it. So make sure the monkey ball that app is on your desktop and then you want to open up one SCP. And you're gonna click new or this should come up for your first time logging in. And your uh your host name will be uh will be your IP address. To find your IP address you're gonna go to settings on your iPod Wi Fi and the network that you're connected to, click the little blue arrow next to that, and your IP is on that page. And you want to type that in on where it says host name. Then your, the username will be root, R O O T, and the password will be A L P I N E Alpine. And then click login. So we just to load up real quick. Okay, from here, you're going to want to click the down button. And, and click the slash and the two little triangle thingies where it says root in between. Once you're there, open applications, then click the down arrow again and go to stash. You then you should see a page like this. Then you want to locate your desktop or wherever you saved, wherever you saved the monkey ball dot app on this bar, and you want to carry the monkey ball that oh, one second and you want to drag the monkey ball app into the applications folder and click copy this may take a minute so I'm just gonna wait for it here it shouldn't be that long or I'll pause the video and come and I'll come back when this is done okay guys once that's done you want to go into the applications folder and you're gonna want to scroll down to our, to the monkey ball dot app. Mine's right here. I'll right click it, go properties, and click the checkbox that says set group owner and permissions exclusively. Then you want to change this to seven seven five, not zero seven seven five. Seven five five is what it should be. Wait for it to finish. This should, I'm not gonna pause. I'm not gonna stop the video here because this is gonna be really quick. Okay, now that that's done, go into Monkey Ball that app and go to Mark, select all, right click, properties, and same thing with this one. Check check the box that says set group owner and permissions recursively, and make sure it says seven seven five. Oh, sorry, seven seven five. There is what it should say. Then click OK. It should go pretty fast. Once that's done, uh, I was actually made mistakes. So you're gonna your mistakes. So you're gonna have to go back. And I want you to right click the monkey ball app again and go to properties. Set group owner and permissions exclusively. Make sure that's seven seven five. Seven seven five. Click OK. This will show up. Again, no, just wait for us to finish. I think it's almost done here. Okay. And once that's done, this is the last step now. I'm gonna go to private bear var variable and mobile. In here, you want to make a documents folder. Make a new folder on your desktop. 
uh, or name it documents, new folder. Make sure the D on that is capitalized D O C U M E N T S. Okay, and once that's done, I already uh, put it in there. You want, uh, and once that's done, you want to drag it in, into here, drag it into some empty space. And once that's there, so just make sure there's a document. There's, there should be document and documents. Make sure there's documents. So on documents, right click it, go to properties. And make sure this says seven seven seven, and check, make sure you check check the box again first, and click OK. Once this is gone, okay, you are done now. You can respring or restart your iPod. So I'll do that now, and we should have Monkey Ball. And uh, for any questions or comments, uh. Just comment on this video or message me or channel comment if you have questions. And no, this is, does not work with 1.1.4. I've tested it. It does not work with 1.1.4. Nor does it work with any other version besides 2.0. So wait for your iPod to reset here. Mine's almost done. Oh, and if you haven't already, you should upgrade your iTunes. There's a new version of iTunes out. You should upgrade that if you haven't. And once you restart, you should have Monkey Ball. Let me try and go into it. Just make sure it works. And there we go. Monkey Ball works. The full version works perfectly. There we go. All 100 levels. And we're done. So, have fun with that application, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And please subscribe, rate, and comment. Uh, thanks for watching.